Okay, everybody. I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding in Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. I have a message today from our sister Julie Webby from I'm calling you now blogspot.com. These are the keys to transformation. Yahushua's Holy Spirit has expressed to me to remind his people of his urgent instructions. All who are followers of Jesus the Messiah must very carefully examine every shred of teaching or prophecy that you accept as truth. Just because something sounds good, holy, and believable does not make it so. Just because a person is popular or posted all over the internet does not mean they are hearing clearly. Any message a person gives must always and consistently speak of Jesus' sacrifice, the need of repentance, and focus on him and his word. The only way to know truth from deception is to know the word for yourself, because it is in this way you can know or be intimate with Jesus Christ. His holy word is pure truth, and anyone speaking anything but this, or even a mixture of it, is to be avoided. There are so many voices now saying they have heard from the Lord. Many, many deliver mixed messages because they read and watch so many others that they also hear from the Lord. That say that they also hear from the Lord and this only in serves, to get, serves to engage the mind. The body of his church can be easily confused and very distracted by all these different messages. Jesus Christ strongly recommends that each of his children study the scriptures as often as possible so his Holy Spirit can write his words upon your heart his spirit will also give you the discernment you need when you are obedient in this so that you will not be swept away in a world that has gone crazy. Pray about fasting from the internet and looking at anything prophetic until you have disciplined yourself to immerse in the word of God. Learning the deeper meanings of his holy word will help you immensely rather than searching the internet for a word from man. Soon enough we will not have the internet to get a word from anyone from the Lord, so it is imperative that you learn to receive from him yourself. Things are changing so incredibly fast, and Jesus Christ is urging us to be prepared. The word and abide in the word and abiding in him is our only hope. When all else crumbles, we've been taught and warned, and we need to obey. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. Please pray about seeking him more earnestly, spending time less in the world and on the internet and more time learning of him and in his word. He does not disappoint. Will you know his will for you and understand how he is speaking to you when all that is left is your Bible? Do not simply believe the words I post either without studying the scripture that is always listed with each message. It is his Holy Spirit that will confirm the message, not me not my internet reputation, only his spirit through his word. Please have printed copies of the warfare prayers and as many messages that you are able. We are out of time. As with any word, go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. And trust not in man or in woman, but only in Jesus Christ, our living Lord and Savior. Get into his word and write it upon the tablets of your mind and your heart. And pray that he keeps it there for you. Because the time is coming when they are going to try to remove a lot of things out of our Bibles, if not our Bibles entirely. You can see already on the news how people are burning Bibles now as well as flags. That is showing you what spirit is driving these people. I pray for each and every one of you that our Holy Father in Heaven has you covered with his holy fire hedge of protection round about you and yours on all sides far above you and far below you. I pray that he would wash you clean with the blood of the Lamb as white as snow. I pray he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. I pray for our neighbors. I pray for our loved ones. I pray for our relatives. I pray for our brethren. I pray for their children and their children's children. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. I am the door, the only way, the gate through which you must enter and to reach my kingdom. The door means that there are keys given, but only those who walk with me. Mysteries will be revealed to those who walk in obedience. I open the door to those who walk by faith, since I am the door, the portal through which you must enter to know the mysteries I will show to you. I provide the keys necessary to open this door. 
this portal so that things not of this world can be revealed to you. I wish to give you further revelation as to the keys you have been given, my beloved ones. Keys open and keys shut are keys of knowledge and keys can be applied for greater wisdom to be granted. If you receive my words and hide my commandments in within you, if you walk in fear of the Lord, if you will be open to my wisdom and pray for understanding and knowledge, it will be granted unto you. Your free will choices utilize keys in the spirit that either open doors or mysteries to my kingdom or cause them to remain shut. There is a law of cause and effect in this life. Every thought, word, and action has an effect. Sometimes you will see it manifest in the physical, natural world, but there will always be an effect in the spiritual realm. Remember, I have talked to you about paradigm shifts. The power that is available to you through your obedience and faith in me can only be understood if you understand that my presence in and through you will alter everything around you. My presence in you shifts frequencies that are of a lower nature into a higher one, resulting in an effect that you will soon realize more fully once I completely indwell you. Permission is granted to my righteous ones to take keys using my authority and walk through me the door to achieve a greater maturity, a greater revelation into another dimension and higher frequency. This will release my glory in this realm. It will bring truth where there is darkness. It will set the captives free from the bondage of the lower realm and cause heaven and my kingdom to come to earth as it is in heaven. It is by faith you take these keys and gain access to things previously unknown. I will not force a choice upon any soul, and therefore you must freely make the choice to stand on solid ground of my word, fully submitting to me in every aspect of your life, in order that I then will move on your behalf as your will aligns with my will. When this alignment occurs, the impossible becomes possible, and I then bring the supernatural into the natural, and in through my instruments of righteousness. When you walk by faith and not by sight, I do the work here, in and through you, that you were proposed and sent to do, purposed and sent to do. There is also a frequency or vibrational shift to this walk of faith that occurs in your very cells as you give permission for your temples to come back into alignment with your Creator. Energy and great power are released in the natural realm. With this shift, when you learn to apply my spiritual blood sacrifice, pure truth unveiled in these temples you reside in. You were created in our image, made of flesh and blood, but yet, spirit, your spirit took on a vehicle, just as my spirit, one with my father, took on a vehicle of flesh and blood to show you the way. I am the way. I came to free you from the curse of the fall of man, and I took on a fleshly form in order to have my flesh die and then rise so that my blood, which is the blood that carries life could be applied to the mercy seat for you. By doing this I made a way for you, who are under the curse, to be set free by the truth that I embodied and manifested. Here is truth and life in the blood, and your DNA is divinely designed because you are made in our image. When I rose and my blood covered the mercy seat, access was granted to you, a way made through truth, through me who is perfect truth, to free you from the curse to show Satan that all who are made in our image and who choose to align themselves with me will be set free. I overcame death, not just the death of the flesh, but the spiritual eternal death. I was the example of eternal life, transforming from corruptible to incorruptible. When the fall occurred, my light of my love and my truth was greatly diminished on earth, but especially in my creation. Those who we had made the temples made of flesh no longer completely resonated with the Creator on a cellular level, and the light and truth that I am was not able to be fully activated and functional in this realm, as it was meant to be. There was a corruption, and because of sin, this prevented man from operating to his fullest potential. Truth was veiled, and deception entered and grew. Satan knew that, he's, that if he could corrupt through sin and then mix serpent seed with the blood of those in my image, my blood which holds the truth and is the life. Man would walk in darkness and never find the way, which is me. He is manipulating the blood of life now, even more than ever before. Furiously and aggressively, his artificial intelligence is being implemented everywhere. His goal is to destroy all those made in my image through, his, through this corruption of the blood by altering DNA. So you will be spiritually lost forever. He believes he can destroy the seed of Messiah in my people. This is why I came, in the flesh, 
to reveal truth that eternal life is in my blood. The blood-bought sacrifice and all who believe in me as their Redeemer will have eternal life. Use these keys of knowledge to reveal this truth in your own temple. I am my word and my word is truth. Therefore, when you apply the word, my truth, and my blood in every aspect of your life, changes occur not just in the flesh but in your spirit. It is in this way that you bring yourself back into alignment with me, activating the DNA I have placed within you that carries my light and my truth, which shatters all darkness, applying my blood to the door of your heart, walking in my truth and my statute, allows the brilliance of my love to flood every cell of your being and transform that which was carnal and dead to that which is alive eternally. It is in this way that I remain enthroned on your heart and nothing evil can enter in. Another key to understanding and knowledge is then implement this revelation to all aspects of your life. By frequent repentance, seeking me and living in obedience, your application of these truths consistently will literally transform you on a cellular level. As you continue to stand upon the truth, implementing it, you move from glory to glory. This is known as transcendence. You are leaving a lower frequency and shifting higher, closer and closer to your Creator. There is a great deal of power and authority that is released when one of my children walks in this way. I realize, I release to you who are walking in this way all that is required for your journey with me here. The higher you choose to come into intimacy with me, the more I release to you. The Father of Lights gives good gifts to his children, and the storehouses of heaven are open. The spiritual discipline and application in your life will continue to allow the release of blessings and gifts during your journey here until I come my, for my first fruits collectively. Your transformation is an ongoing process of continual sanctification and purification by refinement and a constant free will choice to walk in complete faith standing on my promises. I have told you before, a moment by moment mikvah is required and ongoing repentance and renewing in your temple. As you stand on me, the rock, and your solid ground, every thought, word, and action, and its effect will then be just as I have designed it, for my glory alone. It is in walking this way that you shift the paradigm, a dynamics all around you and all that you come into contact with. Although you are at this time not fully aware of the results of this shift, you are taught to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be circumspect and prayerful about each and everything you say and do, and your destiny will unfold before you, as you come into harmony with my will for you. I tell you that you must be born again, and even this has many layers. This rebirth I speak about must be something you commit to each day and every moment. I only said what my father said and did what I saw my father do. Are you not to do the same? I gave the example while well, here on earth. Walk in my footsteps. Take up your cross and follow me. Trust me and obey. Manifest my presence here on earth. Glorify our Father in heaven in every breath. Love as I have loved you. Forgive as I forgive. Have mercy, and mercy will be shown to you. Pray for your enemies and those who persecute you freely. Give, and it will be given unto you. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give to you. Be holy as I am holy. If my impact on earth as the Son of God can have the effect I had when I walked this earth, Imagine what the effects will be when all my remnant walk in this way, fully glorifying our Father in heaven. It is then you will remember my saying, you will do all these things and more collectively. My presence is in all my chosen throughout the world will change the world forever. It is not only a personal transformation, but a transformation of the earth as heaven invades. What you are seeing now in the natural play out is not your reality. It is an illusion designed by Satan to deceive you into believing lies and to prevent you from waking as a son or daughter of the Most High. If you continue to live in sin and your focus is on the darkness, judgment, and hopelessness, that is all you will know. Continue to commit sin and you are a bondservant of sin. So you see, when you choose to serve me with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, and faith, this allows the use of the keys I have given you to then be able to perceive a better way, my way, my design for all that is happening, all that I allow. My remnant have their complete focus on me in the fulfillment of my word 
and therefore are looking towards the things of heaven, of home, and not of the things of earth, which is soon to pass away. My desire is that all would be filled with the joy and peace I give in the knowing that you are a generation which will soon see my return. I will bring glory and revival in the hearts of my people, and the darkness that I will allow now to rule over the lands will only be permitted for a short season. Then the whole world will know, every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that I am the Lord. You will see this day and rejoice as the ending, for my beloved is not one of despair and hopelessness, but rather a transformation into a new beginning, the eternal shift from mortal to immortal, flesh to spirit, as I move you from glory to glory. I cannot stress to you enough, be so very careful what your eyes see and your ears hear, as fewer and fewer across the earth speak my truth. The darkness will continue, as I said, for a time, but truly, I tell you, I am about to do something in your days you would not believe if I were to tell you. I will set the world on fire with my love manifested through you. My chosen ones, you will run and not grow weary. You will see rewards for your faithfulness. You will have recompense and all the enemy of all that the enemy has stolen from you, and I will heal you and prosper you. You will see your enemy's defeat as you perform signs and wonders in my name. This stays upon you, my loves. This is why your positioning remains so crucial. Do not look to the left or the right, only look up. Your redemption comes. The king is jealous for his beloved, and I am coming for my first fruits. While judgment by famine, pestilence, disease, war, and the beast system rage all around you, I will hide you in the shelter of my wing. My angels surround you on all sides, and no harm will come. To my sealed, my anointed ones, my grace is enough for you, as preparing you for what is here now. Pray to walk in your full measure of faith, and for wisdom discerning what I am speaking to you, and it will be given. Pray to be used mightily, and it shall be done. Greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. Although it appears that the enemy is prevailing, there is a reason that this is occurring. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. It is time, too, for my remnant to take their full authority and position in me and use the keys which I have provided. As I have said before, there is a great separation occurring as the winnowing is taking place. All those who have refused to obey me and seek truth, which has always been available, will now be separated from those who are closest to my heart. This is my design, so do not lose heart. The key is your perspective. Set your mind on the things above and not on the things of this world and watch what I will do. Truly you are in a season like no other, and you have been chosen for this time of now. Walk with the faith that moves mountains, and you will receive the crown of life. My kingdom is not for the faint of heart. My kingdom is for the overcomers, the strong, the courageous in spirit, who worship me in spirit and truth. It belongs to the meek and the humble, the contrite of heart, and the servants. For it is you who the world scorns and rejects, ridicules and mocks, that will rule the nations as kings and priests. I will bring the haughty low, and the low I will raise to positions of honor. I will bring recompense where it is due, and truth will reign. So rise up, my men and women of valor. Rise up and use your keys. It is time. Jesus Christ, Yahushua, HaMashiach, our risen King and Savior. Glory to glory to our God in heaven. We praise his holy name. He is the door that if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. All glory to God. We praise his holy name. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. Amen and amen.